Whoa. Okay, I figured I'd go through a few more boards. We all might know this one here. Brand X. Little torpedo with fish tail. Gotta love it. Very great shaped board. What do we got here? Which guys we have? Uh, Kim Kong signed. I mean, how beautiful is that? If you wouldn't know better, you would think that'd be Bev up. Toxic. Uh, the dimensions of this, I'm not sure. It looks about an 8.5. Beautiful blue stain. Beautiful board altogether. I, I have no, I have no bad, uh, things to say about Toxic. They've always helped me out. They've always hooked me up. They've all, always had the great shapes. They've always kept skateboarding real to me, you know? They kept the old school traditions alive. I've seen a few different influencers do a product setup of, I believe, this J. Adam shape. The toxic bomb. The pointed nose we all talked about. That was like a ancient spear. This dude is on one. Inspector Gadget, but very good, very good board, absolutely rideable. Everything that you find from uh, Brand X and Toxic are, aren't joke boards. They're not just shaped boards that you are wall hangers. You ride these boards. These boards mean a lot. Here's one that I picked up from. It is an Atl Atlantic. Locals only. Uh, big squared nose, a big squared tail. We have this one coming in, I think, at nine. And I love this because on the side, if you can see that, it says till death on both sides. And uh, the, the top graphic. Which is a, a very, you can tell that uh, toxic. And brand X put a, a lot into what they do. You know, they do a lot of hand painted stuff. They do a lot of runs of limited things that uh, you have to really be on top of the ball to get a part of. They do a lot of waffles, they do a lot of giveaways. You know, but to not have these boards, you're really missing out. Oh, I, I talked about this board earlier to the Denny. Y you know, it's on the Acaris. Um, it sounds like he's got a lot of stuff going on up there. Um, like I said, this board is ride ready. For me personally, it's a little short. And the nose is stubby, but that's just me personally. And that's why I have two of them, because uh, I got to find out, you know, I have to find out I'm a skateboarder. That's what I do. I'm not going to say I don't like it. I haven't tried it yet. And I will. The Akara shape is on a few different models that they have. And it seems to me like something that I'd be interested in. At least to, to cruise around on, if not to do kickflips down anything under six stairs. Uh, 
I have a few other boards that I wanted to show you. This here has a paragraph on the top by a company called Tired. You know, we're all tired. We're skateboarders. This board's called The Angry Referee. It does say Tired there. It's from a shop called Mom's in uh, New York. I was, I was glad enough to get with these guys. What a, a bunch of great guys. Uh, let me go ahead and read this to you real quick. This is for the ones breathing heavy after one ollie. For the people that are so sore three days after skating for one hour. For the guys that are the same age as the security guard kicking you out of a spot. And to all skateboarding enthusiasts who will never have a career in skateboarding, but love it like nothing else. Welcome to the team. Tired. You know, of course. I love that team, and I feel glad to be welcomed on it. I really like the pink on the bottom. I love the crying referees. You know, I, I love the blue top graphic. Tired it has something that always been has been grabbing my interest. Uh, we're gonna go over just a few more because I told you I'd do the big. We have the the impact, which I heard they're going on their own, but almost is doing it. The P two was done from zero. I mean, a lot of different companies have done this. Uh, we have a Sam Beckett with the the D cut Will Wells. We have the little kind of squared madness logo with these maybe Siamese twins. We have what looks like Leatherface, but maybe just an individual that is lacking in vitamin D. Um, again, the carbon fiber going through it. Very, very unique and very practical. Why wouldn't you want carbon fiber? Here's another impact light. This, uh, how this sticks out. I don't think any of this does it justice. One good thing about um, the madness board is on the side, kind of like what you would see on those Atlantic boards. It says Cl Craig Clarenier, the pro's name. So, with the impact, a little bit of foil there, some guy dancing. Which, you get that, people dancing. And then we have this board, which uh, is something that Madness has done. They put this perloid in. If you want to look close, it's like the inlay of a guitar. It is called a rip slick. And then they put this. So it's got a nice little uh, trident nose. But they put this nice little uh, green and yellow stain. But that inlay is just off the chain. I can't talk more about how cool that inlay is. Like I said, it's like a perloid that you would see on the inlay of a guitar. And not just a, a crappy guitar, but something... Yes. Okay. You know, I'm fanning out, but I really do like that. All right, well, the next one I would hope to show you a good part of the collection. So I appreciate everything and like and subscribe so I can do more of this. You guys can send me a hundred more boards to review, but it doesn't matter. I'll be buying a hundred more. So thank you very much and, uh, Later.